How's it going? It's Greg from Chaos Design Company again. Uh, doing another cheesy video on how to install one of our new products. This is the uh, quarter panel decal, which will come in a variety of designs. Um, colors, this one's in satin black. I'm not sure if we're going to have many colors other than that. Um, maybe we'll do a gunmetal gray just to, for the people with the uh, black gladiators to have an option. Anyway, the first thing we got to get done is clean. We need to clean the car. So alcohol, 91%. Give it a nice clean down. Make sure you get up top here all the way down to the bottom and everything in between. The decal is about 8 inches wide so it's not like it takes up a ton of area so it'll fall right in here. Um, make sure you're getting lint out of the way. That'll help down the road. So what we'll do is I'm going to tape this in the place first just to give you an idea tape on top and bottom. Get it. At the top, I'll, I'll do a close-up of this. You probably want to be about a sixteenth off of these bed rail covers. Alright, and that'll put us down at the bottom crease, the first body line, before it dives into this lower corner uh, bed protector down here. But uh, just to get this in place, I'm going to come off this this body line where the tail light is about a one and three eighths inches. I'll take a measurement from the top, bump that over, so I'm that close, and then then just get down lower. And same thing, I was off by a whopping eighth of an inch. close up of what this is going to look like here. So right here when this folds over you have a little bit of a gap before you get into that. Then down to the bottom it's the same thing. There's a there's a body line here right here. Um, I may extend this piece on the actual sale decals, the ones that are for sale. This is a prototype. So I may extend that so it gets down closer. Another quarter inch or so. Alright, so let me get this set back up. Again, I am by no means a video person. If you couldn't tell by now. Anyway, we got this set into place. This is where I want it to end up. That's where it's going to live. Um, I've done this method before. This is called the hinge method lay a piece of mask and take it straight across all right um right now this this thing will not move because we got tape everywhere all right yeah. magic squeegee so with this kit i'll include a not this kind of squeegee um i will give you a cheapo filippo squeegee so what you want to do now is, this is in place where you want it. I'm going to take that piece of tape off, let this flop down. Again, make sure there's no lint or dust behind. Um, I had left the mask cut back a little bit on this so you can see when I was uh, measuring the top. So when you buy this, it'll be completely masked. Let's say I don't run into any little funny problems I'm running into. So pull that and let that fall down. Take your razor and cut this paper off. Alright, so now this is this is a wrap vinyl. Um, there's other products out there that are gonna be very similar to this, same concept. Squeeze it from the middle out and up. When you get to this rounded portion up here. Just use your finger, use your thumb to roll it in. 
that way you don't catch anything. Um, but anyway, there are other products out there. Um, my product may be slightly more expensive than some of the other ones you'll find on eBay and the internet. This is made of Avery wrap vinyl. See Avery Denison? This stuff is not cheap, but it also will make your installation a hell of a lot easier. You won't get any bubbles. And when it comes to removing it down the road, I don't know, say you sell your gladiator to get a new gladiator, you will be able to easily remove this. So, again, squeeze you from the middle out, all the way down, just work your way down, keeping a little tension on here. And when you get down to the bottom, like I said, my, mine's going to end at this body line. I kind of like it that way, but I think I'm going to extend it, just because I know some people will rather have an extra quarter inch of vinyl than not. Alright, now... When you peel this back, just grab this mask, roll it back, and pull it flat back on itself, just like this. Nice and slow. On this particular design, there's some thin lines and some small pieces. And if you go too fast, you may lose them. You know, you may rip them up if you didn't get a good squeegee. That's it, everything seems to stay down. If you see anything sticking up, just, just push on it. Well, just to show you, I have a, a slight gap at the top so it doesn't get involved under here. Then down towards the bottom. I ended mine right on that body line. I kind of like that finish look, but I may extend it, and if you want to trim it back yourself, you can. But I'll have it cut so it fits perfectly into that line. And that's what it looks like when it's done. Nice and simple, clean. And thanks for watching one of my cheesy videos again. I'll be seeing you.